Now let's go shoot a big buck. Having a rough few days. Wow. Well, thanks for joining us on this episode of Kentucky and Whitetail. September 4th, I'm in Kentucky. It's the second day of the season. The first day was a bit of a wash. Um, major thunderstorms come rolling through. I was sitting right here in this tree, and the lightning hit. You could see a quick flash in the woods, and then the thunder hit hard. So I got out of there, went to the house. Um, I actually sat in the truck for about a half hour and waited and kept looking at the radar. But it was here to stay, unfortunately. So we're back tonight, same spot. Still got corn out. The uh, tacticam showed that Junior was in here this morning at 7.30. So my assumption is he's bedded just right over here on this other ridge. Hopefully he'll come through tonight. Um, there's beans kind of in a field, about a two or three acre bean field behind us. So I'm hoping he stops, grabs a bite of corn, and then heads on to the bean field. Fingers crossed tonight for an awesome night. It's about 80 degrees. It's pretty warm. There is a, no wind at all. It is just sitting here. It's muggy. Um, I got in here pretty early. One of the, since yesterday was such a cluster. Um, got my release loop back up today, so I'm good there. Everything so far, so good. We're going to sit tight and hopefully Junior shows up tonight, but narrow in. seen any deer, saw four turkeys. Um, never seen turkeys here before, so that's pretty cool. But not expecting to see any deer until later this afternoon, obviously, but it's been really sporadic movement in here on the Tacticam. But my hope is that Junior is just bedded right over here. They kind of, my few years of hunting this place, they bed right over here to the west, which is right in front of me. I noticed that the wind has switched and it's now kind of seems like a, a north. So that's a good thing. Kind of drop these temperatures a little bit. Maybe get the deer up a little earlier and we'll get a shot of Junior tonight. And hopefully he's still in full velvet.
Hello. Lightning has struck twice, baby. Are you kidding? No, full velvet. He's a freaking toad. Well, I don't think I have my flashlight. I don't. So we're gonna get down. We'll go check his arrow real quick. And uh, he went down over the hill, tail tucked. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Oh, that was the buck. Well, we got him. Beautiful, beautiful buck. I thought the shot was bad. Um, looking at the footage and looking at the exit, I mean, we were right on the money. He didn't go 100 yards. Uh, it was a heck of a drag, though, all uphill. Appreciate John and David coming out and helping. Uh, full velvet, my first full velvet buck. Lightning does strike twice. Uh, shot kick or kickers. Um, I shot White Paul here last year. Um, then I shot this guy, old Junior. Second day of the season. Yesterday was a rain out, thunder out, lightning out, whatever you want to call it. Glad we got him when we got him. Starting to thunder and lightning right now. We're going to get him loaded up, get him uh, measured, get him in the cooler. Thanks for watching this episode of Kentucky and Whitetail.